Looking for the best motherboard for Ryzen 5 4600G? In this video, I did the research for you and picked the top three motherboards that perfectly balance performance, features, and price to pair with the 4600G. Whether you're building your first PC or upgrading an existing one, these recommendations are backed by extensive research and hands-on experience. So let's get into it and find the perfect board for your Ryzen 5 4600G. Price information and all motherboards mentioned in the video are available in the description. So let's get started. Number 3. Asus Prime B450MA2 Best Budget Motherboard for Ryzen 5 4600G If you're on a tight budget and need to pair the Ryzen 5 4600G with an affordable motherboard that offers just the right amount of features, the Asus Prime B450MA2 would be the best option. This board is not like the original Prime B450MA, which is not an impressive motherboard at all, especially given the fact that it is more expensive. The Prime B450MA2 fixes all the issues I have with the original and is one of my top picks for budget 3000 and 4000 motherboards. The motherboard has a simple 4-phase VRM and requires an 8-pin connector to power the CPU so any AMD CPU with up to 105-watt TDP will be able to run at its maximum potential. You could even upgrade later to a 5800X3D and run it at stock speeds on this motherboard for a substantial upgrade later. Even while being a budget micro ATX board, the Asus B450MA2 comes with four DIMM slots and supports a maximum of 128GB of DDR4 RAM at up to 4400MHz. This is bordering on what mid-range or high-end boards offer, but my recommendation would be to run the RAM at 3200MHz or even 3600MHz if possible with the 4600G on this board for maximum stability and reliability. The I.O. is reasonable and enough for basic needs. The rear has a PS2 keyboard, mouse combo port, a DVI-D port, a D-Sub VGA port, an HDMI 2.0 port, and a Gigabit Ethernet LAN port. For the USBs, there are six Type-A ports, of which two are USB 3.2 Gen 2 and four are USB 3.2 Gen 1. Lastly, there are three audio jacks for decent onboard audio and, to my surprise, a BIOS flashing button. Usually, lower-end boards do not have this decent of an I.O., so I naturally chose this motherboard due to how well-equipped it was for such a low budget. It also has six SATA 3 ports for plenty of storage expansion. For PCIe expansion, this board has just one full-length PCIe 3.0x16 slot and two PCIe 3.0x1 slots. Since this is a B450 motherboard, there are only PCIe 3.0 ports. The Ryzen 5 4600G also does not support PCIe 4.0. This is absolutely a not issue as any x16 slot graphics card will be able to run on this motherboard at full bandwidth. Even an RTX 4090 barely loses less than 4% of its performance running on PCIe 3.0 instead of PCIe 4.0. It is a simple and easy board to recommend without much to complain about. My only complaints are that it needs to have better VRM heatsink and at least one of the PCIe 3.0 x1 slots should have been x4 instead. This would make it easier to add a Wi-Fi card because I know most people will not be adding more than one M2 SSD. And since this is a lower end board, it is important to look into all the alternatives before making a decision, especially on a really tight budget. The CPU itself costs $100 and this board is widely available for around $80. Compared to lower priced boards, it has significant advantages over A320 and A520 motherboards, including the ability to overclock out of the box support for almost all AM4 CPUs and guaranteed 4 RAM slots. Going with an A320 or A520 motherboard does not save any significant amount of money either. Almost all the budget A320, A520, and B450 motherboards are between $50 and $100. If saving money is the only goal, then currently, the ASRock A320M HDV R4.0 is the cheapest AM4 motherboard available right now at $61. I would never go with this board, however, because at best, I would only be saving $20 and lose out on many features. This board only supports a maximum of 32GB RAM, and the VRMs are much weaker, which limits CPU you choice a lot, so future upgrades will be almost impossible. The best alternative to the Asus Prime B450MA2 is the ASRock B550M Pro 4, but that is a $100 motherboard. It is an excellent motherboard, but does not come with a Wi-Fi card pre-installed, so that would turn it into a $110 motherboard. At that point, it is in direct competition with much better motherboards like the MSI Pro B550M BC Wi-Fi that offers a stronger VRM, Wi-Fi, and more USB ports at $120. So that's why I chose the Asus Prime B450MA2 as my final choice for the best budget motherboard for the 4600G. Despite being a compact design, it does not miss out on any features of the B450 chipset, and the overall board is very capable with decent VRMs and a good set of I.O. and expandability. 
under $80, it blows everything else out of the water, and adding Wi-Fi is just a $10 add-on. Number 2. Asus AM4 Tough Gaming X570 Plus Best Premium Motherboard for Ryzen 5 4600G X570 and value are two words that rarely go hand in hand. However, again, Asus of the all manufacturers has managed to pull off another incredible feat. Their tough gaming lineup is a viable alternative to their more popular and more expensive Strix lineup of motherboards. Ditching some of the extra bells and whistles, the AM4 Tough Gaming X570 Plus focuses on pure value. In my eyes, it's an excellent win for the end user. Design-wise, the tough lineup is very unlike the ROG series. Instead of the all-black theme, we get a black and yellow combination here. In theory, that sounds a bit tacky, but with the subtle implementation here, it works well. The logo reminds you of something you'd see in Call of Duty or Battlefield back in the day. This logo can be seen on the rear panel cover, PCB, and chipset heatsink. Apart from that, it is using a 12 plus 2 power delivery system that works well on this X570 platform. You get ASUS, incredible BIOS functionality, and Aura Sync support, both of which are features loved by many. You also get 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, Realtek S1200A audio, and Gigabit Ethernet. All of these are premium components, and you don't need to shell out a ridiculous amount of cash here either. That is where the beauty of this motherboard lies. While you only get two M2 slots and it lacks front panel USB 3.1 Gen 2 boards, it makes up for it with its excellent value. Not to mention you get access to AuraSync, which is one of the best controlled RGB platforms out there on the market. For an X570 board, the Asus AM4 Tough Gaming drives quite a decent bargain, worth considering for those who don't want to spend too much and still get a premium board for the 4600G. Number 1. AS Rock B550 Phantom Gaming 4 – Our Top Choice If it comes down to choosing just one motherboard for the Ryzen 5 4600G, then my go-to recommendation is the AS Rock B550 Phantom Gaming 4. It just about nails everything at such a low price that it's hard to justify why others are still charging more than $100 for everything that this board offers. Starting with the VRM, it is an 8 plus 1 phase VRM design with a rather small heatsink. AS Rock made a bold choice to add a strong power delivery system on a budget board, and thanks to that, it can even handle a 5950X at stock speeds. The small heatsink makes it hard to overclock any CPU on it, however, because it will start to thermal throttle, but it is more than impressive to run even a 16-core 32-threaded CPU on it. With AS Rock prioritizing performance, they claim that the B550 Phantom Gaming 4's RAM slots can hit 4733 MHz. On top of that, there are four slots that support up to 128GB of RAM, so memory support is fantastic. For expansion, the AS Rock B550 Phantom Gaming 4 has one PCIe 4.0 x16 slot for the graphics card, one PCIe 3.0 x16, two PCIe 3.0 x1, and an M2 key for Wi-Fi. For the SSDs, this board has two PCIe x4 slots for PCIe 4.0 and PCIe 3.0 SSDs. Of course, thanks to being a B550 board, it does support PCIe 4.0. Even though the Ryzen 5 4600G does not have PCIe 4.0 lanes, upgrading to a newer Ryzen 5000 CPU will take advantage of the PCIe 4.0 lanes. Moving to the rear I.O., we get six USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports and a Gigabit Ethernet port, three audio jacks, a PS2 port, and an HDMI 2.1 port. This is a very minimalistic set of I.O., but it is to be expected when a board is trying to cut costs while staying as practical as possible, though. AS Rock should have added a CMOS clear or BIOS flash button. I was pleased to see that the audio jacks support Niamic audio thanks to the Realtek ALC1220 audio codec. Even with such a basic I.O., this board puts out very good audio, so the combination with the HDMI 2.1 port makes it a very capable motherboard for media consumption. With such high-end features, it is safe to say that this board is the ideal choice for workstations without spending an arm and a leg. Finally, I would like to talk about the design. The B550 Phantom Gaming was already AS Rock's cheapest B550 board when it was first released, but they still put some effort into making this board look attractive. There are hints of silver all over the place, which elevates it to a more elegant board without too much of a gamery vibe. It will be easy to pair this motherboard with any PC, and it would not look out of place at all. So if you want the most utilitarian motherboard for the AM4 socket, it has to be the AS Rock B550 Phantom Gaming 4. It is right in line with the price of the Ryzen 5 4600G. Even though the MSI B550M Pro VDH Wi-Fi and Gigabyte B550M DS3H are solid alternatives, its supremacy in VRM design, RAM support, PCIe slots, and a minimalistic yet elegant design make it a super easy choice.
The Gigabyte B550M DS3H AC is exactly the same as the Gigabyte B550M DS3H, but with a Wi-Fi card. However, it is $10 more expensive than the non-Wi-Fi variant. After playing fields have been evened, AS Rock simply takes it away in all areas.